Hello, this is what Valoran looks like when your GPU is not configured correctly in Linux. If I sound irritated, it's because of the terribly crappy graphics that I'm currently experiencing and also the extremely low frame rate. So you see the frame rate I'm getting here is extremely low. So right now I'm going to hit the escape key. I hit it twice okay I'm gonna go to quit and okay here's two red flags right now you see my CPU usage was off the charts that means it's not using the graphics card also my graphics card is only this warm because of OBS studio it has nothing to do with Valoran if Valoran was heating up my graphics card it would be 60 plus degrees right now so this indicates a problem with my graphics we're going to go ahead and load Radeon Profile and take a look at this. OpenGL driver is Radeon SI. Kernel driver, Radeon. This is not good. You want to be on AMD, AMD GPU, not the open source Radeon, because Radeon doesn't have any Vulkan support at all. And what does Radeon SI mean? Radeon Southern Islands. I'm using an MSI Radeon R7370, but it's not a little bitch graphics card like that. It looks like this. It's got the dual fans. It really cools nicely. It's got four gigs. But if I look down at this list, this graphics card was released June 18th, 2015. Okay, let me go. Let me go down this page here. Southern Islands, that's the generation of the graphics card. The thing is, it's also a GCN 1.0 graphics card, which is not good for Linux. It's not what you want to use. You're going to get the Radeon driver instead of the AMD GPU driver by default. Now, what most people do is they don't run straight to Radeon profile or something like that. They go to the command line because you can do that in any operating system. So... I'm going to type in LSPCI-K I should probably be using the grep command okay this tells me everything I need to know right here kernel driver in use Radeon kernel modules Radeon and AMD GPU that tells me right there both drivers are loaded but it's preferring the Radeon driver instead of the AMD GPU driver so I started looking online to see what I can do about this and I've been going through a week of hell over it okay I just want to make a quick note here that this is one thing you should not see you want to run Vulkan info space dash dash summary Okay, render D128 is not using the AMD GPU kernel driver invalid argument and compatible driver. So I scroll down here and I see my device as GPU 0 LLVM pipe 128 bits. I already know I have a 256 bit graphics card. So that means right here it's not correctly recognizing the card. This video was made to be a help to anyone out there who has an R7370 AMD Radeon graphics card and gets crap performance in Linux, but you don't understand why you get perfect performance in Windows. It's because you've got the wrong driver loaded. I did a lot of searching and I came across the AMD GPU page on Arch, Arch Linux Wiki. After looking at this page a lot, I scrolled down and I found this section called Enable Southern Islands and Sea Islands Support. This is what's going to save your ass with this graphics card. I remember reading on other forums that the Southern Islands graphics cards can have experimental AMD GPU support and also so can GCN 1.0 and 1.2 cards. 
After a bit more searching, I found this page when I happened to be on a Linux Live USB because I decided to mess around with a blacklist conf file and slash etsy slash mod probe d. And I just looked up and down until I couldn't stand it anymore and this is what I found. This guy basically went into his grub config and replaced it with this line here. This is all you've got to do if you've got this graphics card or a similar one and you want to be able to use Vulkan with the latest Linux. I just took that line and copied it into my clipboard and you want to make sure you get everything in between the quotes. Oh, here's what I'm looking for. Open as administrator. You want to put in your password, get your new window, and then go straight to file system. It's slash Etsy slash default and grub. You see this line here, elevated privileges. That means you can save the file. So what you want to do, you can replace quiet splash or you can keep it. If you get rid of this, you'll have a much noisier startup as far as the text is concerned but personally I like to get rid of it so I'm just gonna highlight it and then hit control V okay you wanna make sure you copied everything from that web page in between the quotes in between these quotes unless you wanna make a second option for startup which I'm not sure how to do right now I haven't researched it thoroughly so I'm gonna save this file and you have to make sure you do this if you want this to actually take right now. sudo update dash grub. Okay, let me show you one thing really quick again that LSPCI line. Kernel drivers Radeon and AMD GPU and kernel driver in use is Radeon so that's about to change. Okay I've just rebooted and if you wonder what's different than the way it was before check this out. Uh, shoot. There's the... Oh okay. Let's go find the key. Okay. Kernel modules, Radeon, and then AMD GPU, kernel driver in use, AMD GPU. That worked, and I owe everything to the person who made that forum post. Here's some corresponding information in this program, Radeon Profile, which has been a complete godsend to me because of the fan speed locking. Kernel driver is AMD GPU. Here's a little bit more confirmation. Okay. Vulcan info dash dash summary. I scroll up and I show you this now. This is completely different from what it said before. It actually recognizes my graphics card and my chipset. Okay, as you can see here, this is what Valoran looks like when your graphics card works. By the way, I'm not a skilled player or anything. I've just started out and I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I have taken a look at this before and I thought it looked pretty nice though.
He's probably right. I'd say that's a much nicer frame rate than what I was getting before. It's not perfect and I'm not on a hardcore gamer system, but my drivers actually work with my hardware now, which is step number one to getting a decent frame rate. FPS 45 average, that's about what I'd expect. I set this to medium settings, plus I tweak the settings. Jeez. Ah. And that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. But as you can see here, the Vulcan graphics finally work. I'm going to go ahead and immediately drop out to the operating system you see right here. Graphics temperature is 56 degrees. It was just 60. It said that a second ago. So that's what I want to see. That tells me that it's actually using the graphics hardware and not just CPU. In case you care about this, the way I optimized this was the following. I went to settings and graphics. I set everything to medium to start. I, t I manually turn anti-aliasing to none, but you may have other preferences. Okay, then I go to fluid rendering mode and set that to low. Wait, I take that back. I set that to medium. I go to reflection rendering mode and I set that to medium. Otherwise you get this super jerky frame rate when you're in the water and you don't want that. If you've watched this entire video, I'd like to explain that this has already survived updates. I did a pseudo apt update and a pseudo apt upgrade and this method for switching your driver has already survived the updates. I realize there's a new version of Linux Mint coming out in a month or two. so. It's going to be interesting to try it on the new version and see if this technique still works. Anyway, thanks for watching this. I'll see you in the next one.